It has been called Stockton's darkest day, the bank heist and hostage nightmare in 2014. My daughter was taken from me. <laughs> Innocent people paid dearly for that crime spree, and today the criminals responsible learned their punishment. The two struck a deal months ago to avoid the death penalty. But they're still paying a heavy price, and CBS 13's Tony Lopez has more on the sentence and the strong reaction. You guys took her life for what? For your selfish actions, for what? It's a question directed at two criminals who were about to learn their fate. A question that hung in the air in a fog of deep sorrow. My daughter was taken from me. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. What the mother of Misty Holt Singh couldn't finish, others did for her. Delivering a powerful victim's impact statement. She was my best friend. She was my confidant. She was my person. A special person used by Jaime Ramos as a human shield, while his sidekick, Pablo Ruvacalba, drove the getaway car. The judge called it Stockton's darkest day, the 2014 bank heist and hostage nightmare that led to a shootout with police. Misty Holt Singh was a customer inside the Bank of the West that day, taken hostage, then taken away. The 41-year-old wife and mother of two was killed in the hail of bullets as Ramos, in a cowardly pose, put her body in front of his. I have 795 days. To avoid the death penalty, the two pled guilty back in December. Ramos will serve life without parole. Ruva Calba gets 25 to life. Outside the courtroom, Misty's family talked about facing these two, knowing they had cut a deal. It was tough. It was tough knowing that there are going to be um, you know, living their lives, whether it's in prison, um, but they're they're still alive and they still get to to live. Whereas uh, Misty is um, is no longer with us. As her killers sat void of emotion, Paul Singh chose not to speak to them directly, but he did send a direct message of gratitude for prayers sent his family's way. She was loved by many. Misty will be missed, but never forgotten. He and Misty would have celebrated their 24th wedding anniversary this past weekend. Now, both Ramos and Ruvacalba had the chance to address Misty's family, but they let their lawyers do their talking for them.